Hey, how are you doing? Connected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. She said the back window was open. Okay. So what's going on? Yeah, probably. Feel like I put the dog down. Twelve eleven. Uh, this Matheny, correct? Oh, yeah. All right. So. Are you going to be responding to the residents to check on the female? Right. What? According to the female, the doors are locked. However, the back window is unlocked where you can gain entry. I believe she may be down about 45, 50 minutes. Do you have a key to the apartment? 1758. Okay. Hey, make sure there's somebody keeping eyes on her in the lobby so she doesn't leave. I'm going to step up my response in case this is real. Claire, we have a CLO out there at this time. I'm sorry? Okay. Uh, I'm with her in the lobby, if you could let the deputies know. And then, if you want, we'll come over here, okay, Miss Matheny? Um, we'll scan through here, okay? 1204, I can copy if that was for me. Officer, Yeah, if you don't mind, just let the deputies know that I'm here with her. Here you go, Miss Oh no. You guys got an interview room down here? Yes, we do. Alright. It's all the way down, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. Do you want it? Yes, please. Okay. 1204, I still can copy. I see that you took over on the admin side. Affirmative. Okay. 8 and 11, if you aren't clear, then you have the female. Oh, it's fast enough. Over in the red side. Do you mind to search it for me? No, I can do that. Do you want to in or out? Uh, if you want to come in, that's fine. Miss Bethany, have a seat. Hey, I'm clear. Well, here you go, Christy. Right. Okay, since walk the floors that are too far, I'll never see you at 1211. I have a little bit of a cold. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Let me see if I can get her some more. Yeah, get me one too. I got a cold. Okay. okay. <sighs> Miss Matheny, I, I apologize. I forget your first name. Heidi. Heidi. Heidi Matheny. My glasses are bent. They're not fitting right. All right. Well, so. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and open this door, okay? <sighs> and we will have it open here. So you you came in on your own free will to talk to me, correct? Okay. And you still want to talk to me? Yeah. Okay. So what happened? Tissue. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're kind of... Um, I just... I don't even... I just put her head in the sink and held it there. We fought, but I held it there until she quit blowing bubbles. And then I drove her to the bubbles. So I put her in the bathtub until she stopped. Single okay, and this is your grandmother? Yeah. What is her name? Well, I can the address. 1204. Go ahead. Confirming 225 East Summers, Unit 3. Is that the right address? 225 of Affirmative. I thought you were living at Prestwick. Is that... I used to live at 1211, where you Okay. Right, I'm clear on it. I'll put you on the contact. 18-01. Well, even though you came in to talk to me on your own free will, and... And you're making these statements. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read you your rights, okay? Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her 
present with you while you're being questioned. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questions if you wish. You can decide any time. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Heidi. Information 225 is going to be just a single residence. Advisory, brother. Is it on the south side of the road or the north side of the road? Yeah. It's on the south. It's a four unit apartment building right next to the Methodist Church. Okay. Just east of the Methodist the, Church. The, the brick ones? Okay. It is the brick apartments just east of the Methodist Church on the south side. The ones that run kind of north to south with the apartments and it's number three. And it's number three, and you can enter through the back window of apartment number three. You were broken. Try that one again. It is the brick apartment building east of the Methodist Church on the south side of the road. It's the one that kind of runs north and south. It's apartment three, and you can enter through the back window if you need to. Okay, information, I believe that's going to be 335. Clear. All right. So, back to number four here. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, Correct one will be appointed uh, to represent you for any question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any of these uh, questions or statements. So, you, this, this is your mother, your grandmother. Is it on your mother's side or your father's side? My father's side. Your father's side? So what happened today to, to lead that to this? Nothing special. It's just a day like every other day. We went to the doctor yesterday, and the doctor said that like we could put her into a nursing home because that's what she wants. But we can't afford that. It's $289 a day. Her insurance won't cover it because she owns a house, but her sons are fighting over it, and it's freaking condemned almost. It's, it's a fucking nightmare. And I'm sick Love of seeing her. She's stressed out. She has panic attacks every damn day. I, she shouldn't have to live like that. Okay. Correction on address. It's 325. So, so you decided to take her life today. That's what it is. Right along and, the and you did it by just drowning her, correct? Okay, so what time did this happen? Um, maybe an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. Did you walk up here? I did. Okay. We'll try to turn these guys out just a little bit here. Who else lives in that apartment? Um, her son lives next door with his girlfriend and then her kids live in the other apartments. So who lives in, in that in apartment three? Is that your apartment? This is her apartment. That's her apartment. She owns a house. And a cat. And a cat. Okay. And nobody else was present during this? No. Okay. So why why did you do it? Do you know? Because she keeps calling me that she keeps calling me. And I just she wants me to sit there and listen with her and like just every day and I, I do it every day but I can't I can't do it anymore I'm gonna kill myself that's where I'm at I almost went with her but I can't drown myself okay so you started in the bathroom sink in the kitchen sink in the kitchen sink was she just standing there yeah and you she was doing dishes doing dishes and you just came up from behind her and just put her head in the sink and when you said you did that until she quit blowing bubbles and then you moved her onto the couch but you thought maybe she wasn't dead at that time so then you took her into the bathroom tub was the was there water in the bathtub already no did you run bath and so where where was your grandmother at while you were running the bath water? On a couch. On a couch. Okay. So after you filled up the water, how much water did you put in there? Full bathtub. Full bathtub. 
and then did you uh, did you carry her to the bathroom? Okay, and then then what happened? Um, I held her there for what I thought was fifteen minutes. And face up or face down? Face down. Face down. What was her whole body in a tub or just part of it? Okay. And and then what happened after that? I left and came here. Okay, so she's in the bathtub right now. Is that correct? Correct. Ms. Matheny? Okay. All right. Is there anything you want to add to it? Okay. Do you have anything on you? You shouldn't have any weapons or knives or drugs or anything? Okay. Do you mind if I have this female pat you down real quick? Okay. You have to have your face the wall from here. And place your hand up the wall like this. Spread your legs just a little bit, okay? Nothing on me that's going to stick me, cut me, or poke me. Nothing that you don't want to be charged with or anything like that. No drugs, no anything like that. Okay. I'll explain to you as I pat you down what we're going to go through, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll try to make it just a little uh, less hectic for you, okay? I'm just going to go through this. I'm going to check the back of your hair, and then I'm going to rub my fingers through here. All right, back behind the ears, and then I'm going to check your arms, just like that. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to check your neck, give you a little mess up there. Okay, I'm going to go through this pocket here, okay? Your shirt's wet, huh? Was it raining on the way in, or was that from earlier? Oh, that was there. Do what? That's from earlier. From earlier. Okay. Go through your pockets. I'm going to rub just my fingers through your waistband, okay? Just like that. And around through the front. Zipper area, and I'm going to go one side of the leg to the other on inside and outside, okay? Just like this, and I'm going to check your the bottoms of your pant legs. Make sure there's nothing on the folds. Okay, let me go to the other side. Shoes, okay. I didn't ask him to go. Okay. Okay. Yep, it's a string on your shirt. Thank you very much. Thank you right. so much. Miss Bethany, we're going to walk over to the other side, okay? Are you finishing the top there, Uncle? Yep. That's 5-7. I have a 21. I think we're going to go all the way across. Uh, yep. How do you do? Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm Oh, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, we can put our names up. Okay. Ms. Matheny, if you would, go ahead and place your hands behind your back for me. You are wet, aren't you? Okay. Let me double lock those so they don't tighten up on you, okay? I'll take them off for you as soon as we get into your facility, okay? When we walk in, I'm going to have you face to the left for a second, okay? I want you to stand in that corner for just a second over here. Oh, they got it open. So go ahead. Go on through for me. Sorry. Sorry about that. No, I, I almost bumped into you there for oh, a second. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, no. We're good. 
up, guys? Hey, how you doing? Good, I'll tell you, you what, let me walk outside real quick. If you can buzz me out, I need to get my phone, okay? Sure will. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be, I'm going to grab my phone. I'll be right back, okay? Go ahead and put her in a holding cell.